Yo, what's up guys? My name is Tivik. I hope you're all doing well now. In yesterday's video, I was talking about the trade killing issue and I was wondering what your opinion was on this topic. Now, you definitely did leave some comments with your opinion and I really appreciate it. It means you're watching my videos and actually speaking your thought outs and that's always welcome. I like some discussion down in the comment section and talk about it and stuff like that. I really appreciate it. Now, in this video, I'm going to do the same thing, mainly about the next Battlefield game coming in 2018. And the topic of the day is what kind of era or setting would you guys like to see in the next Battlefield game? Now, I made a list out of three different settings slash eras. And we're going to talk about it a little bit. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Now, the first era on my list is actually my personal favorite and my preferred one. And it's actually the Cold War era. Now this is everything post World War II up until the 90s, I believe, 1991, 1990 or something like that. I read it on Wikipedia, don't quote me on that. But the reason why I love this era so much is because it's modern enough that you can have, you know, those classic guns like the M16A1 and the AK-47, you know, those classic, beautiful, iconic weapons and various vehicles like awesome submarines and the Havoc and Apaches and I don't know everything in, uh, in between that but at the same time it's not as ultra high-tech as you would see in today's society or even a little bit futuristic stuff like that so I, in my opinion this is the perfect era to have the next Battlefield setting you have plenty of weapons to choose from and as far as storyline goes DICE could do whatever they want basically because if you guys played Call of Duty Black Ops 1, you know what kind of story you could have. For, as far as stories, you could have the classic Russians against the US, which is always good in my opinion, I love those. Or something set in the Vietnam War, such as uh, a war story set in the Vietnam, then later up in the 80s against the Soviet Union, stuff like that. You know, you can do so much in this era in my opinion. You have those iconic weapons, you have this extremely tense situation between the Soviets and the Americans with the whole nuclear war, potential nuclear war and stuff like that. So I think guys can go a lot of ways in this and this is my personal opinion. Okay, but that's number one. Let's talk about number two. Now, number two on the list is actually World War II era. Now hear me out, before Battlefield 1 actually was revealed, I heard a lot of people in the community talking about uh, they would like to see a World War II era Battlefield, you know, like back in the day, which was awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love World War II, but with the reveal of Call of Duty, the new Call of Duty coming this year, 2017. It's gonna be a little bit of a problem because this Call of Duty is gonna be set in World... For crying out loud, it's called Call of Duty World War II. It's gonna be set in World War II. So, two AAA shooters in World War II pretty much at the same time. It's gonna be controversial to say the least, but maybe you guys like it. You could have, you know, those obviously famous battle inside Berlin, you know, D-Day and stuff like that. I have nothing against World War II because I absolutely love the area, you know, the, the grittiness and the gore and just, it's, you know, it's just basically hell on earth and stuff like that. Again, could be an awesome story like Band of Brothers kind of story and stuff like that, but it could be very similar to the next Call of Duty. So, we never know. So that's number two on the list. It's possible. Now, number three on the list is going to be something like Battlefield 2142 which was set in the future. Now, I know a lot of people don't really like futuristic shooters such as, you know, the latest Call of Duties with the uh, jetpacks and stuff like that. But looking back on Battlefield 2142, it was actually a pretty decent game. It was actually pretty awesome, you know, with all the de uh, with all the different weapons and the titans and stuff like that. That's also a very good possibility that, you know, DICE did take a huge risk coming back to the world to World War 1 in Battlefield 1 and it clearly paid off the sales were amazing now maybe they'll do another risk and this is going to be a very big risk uh, probably even bigger than world war one because coming to you know the stigma about futuristic shooters now probably primarily because of call of duty now they maybe want to do that because of you know like they they want to show call of duty like look what we can do with futuristic shooters and outperform them and stuff like that but maybe the community don't want to see that and that's where you guys come in i want to see you type in the comments down below what you want to see you know a bit of speculation maybe coming up with a story and stuff like that i know for example the cold war wasn't really a war it was more of an era it was more of a setting but then again a fictional realistic story or war is always possible like i said this is just speculation and i'm really curious to know what you guys want to see in the next battlefield game coming in 2018 now if you guys want to see a video where i talk more in depth about possible errors for the next battlefield game let me know in the comments down below this is just again a quick little video i want to hear your thoughts about it so with that being said guys thanks for watching and i see you guys next time Thank you.